I gotta tell you, borrowing this camera and making a lot of videos sitting on the floor has made it super obvious how badly I need to vacuum in here. Hmm. Come for the books, stay for the revelations about how gross I am. I tend to buy books in like large batches, but for some reason lately that has not been my MO. So these are just like all of the books that I have managed to accumulate since the last time I did a book haul. Like most of these I have actually purchased over the past couple of weeks, um, but they're from a lot of different places. This is one of those times where I'm regretting the decision to title my book hauls because this one I, there's like no unifying theme. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Things I can think about while I'm editing. So the first thing is The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie, which I picked up randomly when I was at Target a few months ago. This one is all about a Native American teenage boy uh, growing up on the res who ends up going to a predominantly white high school. And I grabbed this because it's one I've been meaning to read forever because everybody says it's super good and I have actually read this already and it is super good. I don't have enough to say about this to do a full video review of it, but it will show up in one of my like cumulative review videos, yeah. But it's really good and I definitely recommend it and I am definitely gonna buy some more Sherman Alexi in the future because I really want to read his adult stuff now. These next three I actually found in some bargain bins at the grocery store, weirdly enough. Like I'm shocked that these were all there. I can't believe I found like one decent book in some grocery store bargain bins, much less three. But I did. The first one that I found in there was Solus by Gail Carringer, which is the first in the Parasol Protectorate series. Yeah, that's what it's called. This is historical fiction set in the Victorian era with paranormal elements. And it sounds, at least from the description on the back, that it's got like a, a fairly like Woodhouseian sense of humor. So I am, I am very looking forward to this. Although Lord knows the last thing I need to do is start another series. I mean, geez. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is possibly the one I am most excited about. It is called Sup with the Devil by Barbara Hamilton, and it's a novel where Abigail Adams solves a mystery. I will seriously give any novel a shot if it features a historical figure solving a crime of some sort. Also, the title Sup with the Devil is just a collection of words that I find pleasing. Also, if you change the emphasis of it, it sounds like the name of a syndicated talk show hosted by Satan. Sup with the Devil. I would watch that. This is actually the third in a series, I think, uh, but I consulted Goodreads and the reviews seemed to indicate that you could read them out of order and you would be fine. So like I might save this after I find the first two, I might read it now, who knows? I'm capricious. And then the last thing I got from the grocery store bins was Sunshine by Robin McKinley. And I am very pleased to have found this because Robin McKinley is like, the, I, I just keep doing this thing with her where like, I will read one of her books and then I'll be like, oh man, that was awesome. And then I will totally forget that she is a person who exists for like years. And so I have subsequently read like three Robin McKinley books, even though I, I love her and I have been reading her books since I was like 10 or 11. I don't know what my deal is. Like, it's ridiculous. This one is about vampires and I think it's actually an adult novel, technically. But yes, yay Robin McKinley. The last time I read a Robin McKinley was in 2012, I think. So I'm, I'm, I am improving slightly on my Robin McKinley issue. Also, I've just been like really in the mood to read fantasy novels written by ladies lately. Like I've been, I've been working my way through A Song of Ice and Fire this year and like it's really good, but like ladies? <laughs> and then last weekend I went to my local comic shop with my buddy Chris and I bought the first trade of Sex Criminals by Matt Fraction with art by uh, Chip Zdarsky. So in my last haul I showed you a copy of uh, the first volume of the new Hawkeye series uh, by Matt Fraction and uh, that's the a review of that is probably going to be my next video because I got to talk about it because it's so good, you guys. And and so I went and picked this up because I'm just like, Matt Fraction! And I, I it, this is also really good. I have already read it. I'm probably also going to do 
a full review of this one because, oh man, I have so many things to say about it. I feel like a lot of people have been talking about this lately, uh, mostly because the premise is just so out there and I think everybody's sort of delighted by it. So this is the story of a girl who uh, stops time every time she has an orgasm. And one day she hooks up with this guy and they realize they have the same power and so naturally they use this power to rob banks. The art is also really good. Let me let me find a page I can show you. There's a lot of nudity, so I have to be careful <laughs> about what I actually put on screen. But like the art is really good. But I will talk more about that in a in a subsequent video probably. All right, so that is everything I have to show you. Uh, if you have read any of these, I would love to know what you thought down in the comments below, and I will see you soon. Bye.